G'day guys, it's James from Commodore Solar here. I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown on one of our Power Hub units. So we've got our standard Power Hub size here. Uh, this is a, a pretty typical size for a small to medium home. In here we've got a Victron 8 kVA inverter. Uh, we've, around the side here, we've got our MPPT, uh, a Victron Smart Solar 450 100. This is where we bring our solar in. So that will come in the side just here. It'll wire around to our DC switch forward. Um, so that's where you'll terminate your solar. Down the bottom, we've got our favorite Pylon Tech batteries. In Australia, they've been independently tested and rated as the best off-grid battery. That's because of their really safe and stable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Over here, we've got our AC switchboard. We've got our main standalone supply. Um, our, that's where the power from the inverter comes in. Uh, we've got our sub board, so that's where you're gonna connect it to your, your shed or your house switchboard. Uh, we've got our GPO, which will connect to uh, the GPO on the side of the hub. Then here, we've got our main switch. You can, it'll mostly be on standalone. That's where it's running from your off-grid system. Then you can click it down to generator only, and that's where we'll, where you can run your system from your generator. So just say if there's any unlikely circumstance, something happens to the system, you can switch to generator and you can run from the generator whilst you get it fixed. From there, we've got our, our main generator switch. That's where you can hardwire your generator in. You don't have to have an automatic generator with this system, um, but every system is uh, generator ready so that you can connect a two-wire auto start generator. It certainly makes life easy if you've got a two-wire auto start generator. So if the batteries get low, the generator will kick in automatically. Uh, it can also provide peak power. So just say, for example, you've got a, uh, an 8 kVA system here that's sized to run your house, but say you want to run some power tools on the weekend, say you've got a hobby and you want to do some welding or you've got a car hoist. So what we'll do, rather than sizing the system so it's so large to run those items every day, what we'll do is we'll have the generator kick in to provide peak power. So whilst those uh, items are running, it'll provide the peak power, or it'll turn on automatically and it'll turn off once you've finished doing your welding. Now we're getting to the servo. This is this is my favorite part about Victron. So Victron is our industry leading remote monitoring. Uh, so we recommend that you hardwire uh, connect your internet to it. You don't have to hardwire it for warranty or anything like that. So don't feel like you have to. But if you do, uh, it gives you some great features such as being able to track all of your data from your phone. Uh, so no matter where you are in the world, you can see what's happening with your system from your phone. If you have uh, a problem, say if you either you might have a question, you might need to troubleshoot, or you just want to expand your system, you can give us a call. That's a big part of the Commodore service. You can give us a, a call. We'll log in and see exactly what's going on. There could be hundreds of different things that could be going on with your system, and we could uh, make a, a small change uh, that could fix the problem. A lot of the time, we can remotely diagnose and solve, solve it for you on the spot. Or if not, we can at least work out a plan with your electrician uh, to get it fixed up. Uh, we've got our main uh, DC isolators there. So you've got your battery isolator and your MPPT. One of the main features of the, the Power Hub is the IP55 rating. So that gives you great flexibility uh, with, with installation. You can either install it inside or outside. It's dust proof and, and rodent proof. Um, it's temperature controlled. It sucks air in and pushes uh, air out. And basically once, once uh, the system gets too hot, uh, they, they will kick in automatically to keep it cool for you. Uh, it is possible to add a temperature controlled air conditioner. That's for extreme circumstances, which might be, you know, it could be up in North Queensland where it's really hot. Uh, we can also add in a temperature controlled heater as well, if just say if you're up in the snow or something like that. Just keeping the keeping all of your electrical equipment at temperature makes a big difference to the longevity of your system. It could add, you know, two or three years at the back end of your system. So one of the features of the Power Hub is that they're expandable. So we can add another cabinet next to it that looks identical. So we can have one that's exactly the same size that you could add eight batteries to your system, or we've got its little baby brother, which is half size, but it still looks the same as the, the Power Hub where you can add four batteries later on. So you're not limited to the 20 kilowatt hours that you can fit in here. 
So we'll often start with uh, two or three batteries and you can add batteries later on. So, you know, whether you, if you've got three to start off with, you can add one later or you can add a whole cabinet worth later if you would like. Here in Shepparton, we've got our dedicated manufacturing facility. It's a family owned business. It's owned by my father, Boyd. Uh, I run the business for him. Um, there's 50 of us employed full time and we're dedicated to off-grid, designing, building and supporting off-grid systems. I really hope that you found this video helpful. Um, if we can be of any assistance with your off-grid project, uh, we'd love to, to hear from you.